everyone, it's Megan here from Twinkle Phonics and today I'm going to talk to you about how letters and sounds are taught. Children are introduced to the first sets of letters and their corresponding sounds by learning to link a grapheme and a phoneme. This link between a written letter and the sound is often referred to as a letter-sound relationship or a grapheme-phoneme correspondence. Teachers will use a variety of helpful support scaffolds to aid children's learning of these, including stories, mnemonics, which provide a visual link to the grapheme and the phoneme, actions, letter formation rhymes, and songs. So for example, if I'm introducing the phoneme or sound s to a class, I may well start by telling them this story about this snake. The snake is the mnemonic for s. We would talk about the shape of the snake, and I might ask, what noise does a snake make? Do they make a hissing sound? I would then introduce the grapheme or the letter and make links back to the shape of the snake and the sound of the letter, which does sound like the hissing of a snake. The children would learn an action to perform when they saw the letter or the mnemonic as another memory prompt. In this case, it would be the action of a slithering snake. The children may then sing a song about snakes to reinforce the learning and practice forming the letter using a letter formation rhyme. For example, curl around and around the snake's body. It's really important to note that it's the letter sound that is being taught and not the letter name. So it's a, b, and k, not a, b, and c. The letter names will come in later. The sounds are taught in a specific order with the most common and most useful sounds introduced first. Usually s, a, t, p, i, and n. As many small words can be made out of these. There are 44 sounds in the English language for 26 letters of the alphabet, and then consonant digraphs such as sh, th, and ng, and long vowel sounds such as e, i, or a. These sounds should be introduced quickly, usually around four new sounds per week, and practiced daily to ensure that the children gain a secure understanding and a rapid recall of them. Enjoy your phonics teaching.